in this lecture, we will talk about applications of linear system. So basically, that's about story problems. Okay, let's look at the first one. This one says that a man rows a boat 420 feet upstream against a constant current in 14 minutes. And he then rows 450 feet downstream with the same current in 9 minutes. So, A. Find the speed of the current. And here requires us run the answer to the nearest whole number. Okay, means no decimal point. Okay, B. Find the equivalent rate at which boat can roll in still water. This one basically says that the speed, the rolling speed of the man in still water. That's basically what it asks. Now, first we note uh, the distance equals the speed times the time. Okay, for example, if you drive 60 miles per hour and you uh, have driven 2 hours, so 2 times 60, you'll get 120 miles. So this formula is uh, easy to understand. Okay, now before we do that, using this formula, we may assume that the speed of the current is x. Yeah. And then we may also assume that the rolling, uh, rowing speed of the man in still water is y. Okay. So of course, here in our case, y has to be greater than x because the uh, rowing speed, if it is less than x, then the man cannot really go against upstream. Okay, so here is the reason y has to be greater than x because this man does already did. 420 feet for upstream. Okay, if the speed was the rowing speed was less than the current one, the man is not able to row against the upstream. Okay, so right here, we should keep this in our mind. We assume that the this x and y, then the actual speed for upstream, it should be clear that's y minus x. Yeah, because you row in still water with the speed y, then because you have a current, water current, which it goes down. So you have to use y minus x. That would be the actual speed for the upstream, okay? The actual rowing speed for the upstream. And then similarly, the actual speed for downstream would be x plus y, because besides the, uh, the mean's uh, rowing speed, in still water, and also the water current helps a little bit. Okay, helps a little bit. 
So when the man actually uh, goes downstream, and then the actual speed is x plus y, is the speed in the still water plus the speed of the current. Yeah. So after we figure out the actual speed for the upstream, the actual speed for the downstream, things might be easier. Look, this is the actual speed for the upstream, y minus x. How long does this man roll? 14 minutes. Okay, so the speed times 14 minutes he crossed the distance, 420. Okay, so in 14 minutes, this man actually draw 420 feet, of 20 feet. So this tells us that the speed times 14 equals 420. Okay. The second sentence says that he rose 450 feet downstream with the same current in 9 minutes. We know the downstream speed, actual downstream speed, is x plus y. That's the speed. And in 9 minutes, which is shorter than 14 minutes, this man actually rode lo longer distance is bigger than 420. It's because it goes downstream. The speed is faster. Yeah, is the speed of the man's uh, rowing speed in still water plus the current speed. Okay. Okay, now we got two equations now. You know, for this question, the observation is that if both sides divided by 14, you then have a here is 1, okay? And the left-hand side is 420 divided by 14. You know, y minus x times 1, because 14 divided by 14 is 1, that's y minus x. That's just y minus x. 420 divided by 14 is 30. Okay, that's a nice number. So basically, y minus x equals 30 from here. Similarly, if both sides divided by 9, 9 divided by 9 is 1, 1 times x plus y, so you have x plus y. Okay, that's right hand side is x plus y. Left hand side divided by 9, 450 divided by 9, that will be 50. So left hand side, you can write on the right, which is 50. Okay. Then we have two equations now. y minus x is 30 and x plus y is 50. And here we noticed that it has, it, it has a negative x and positive x. So if we add the first equation and the second equation together, we know negative x and positive x, they can cancel each other. And here there is a 1y, because in front of y there is a 1r. Ah. Yeah, 1 times y is just y. And here there is another y. When you add those two together, you cancel negative positive x, then you have a, these two together is 2y. Okay, that's on the left. On the right, you have a 30 plus 50, that's 80. Both sides divided by 2, so 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times y, you have a y. On the right-hand side is 80 divided by 2, so we have a 40. Now, y is 40. Yeah. 
Why is 40? You put it back here. You can put it back here also. You have the same answer. Let's put it back here. Y is 40, so x plus y now is x plus 40 equals 50. And then both sides minus 40. You cancel this positive negative 40. You have x on the left. On the right hand side is 50 minus 40, which gives us 10. So x equals 10 right here. Okay. Yeah, again, what's the meaning for x? That's the speed for the current. That's one uh, ten feet per minute. Okay. Now, what's the meaning for y? Why is this uh, rowing speed of the man in still water, which is bigger than ten? Uh, Forty is bigger than ten. Uh, that's uh, 40 feet per minute. Okay. So right here, we basically apply this formula. That's an important formula. Okay. And then we figured out the upstream speed and the actual speed for the lower stream, for the uh, downstream. Okay. So here there are some techniques is that when you solve this equation, you add to cancel positive and negative. And doing this way makes uh, things easier. Okay, that's the first question.